Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, convolution neural network, simple convolution neural network and flattening layer. In our previous classes, the basics required to understand this class was clearly discussed in our previous classes. Uh, please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take an example. First, we will understand the simple convolution neural network. In that, we will understand what the flattening layer is. The simple convolution neural network looks like this. This is our simple convolution neural network. This is our actual image, RGB image. This is the input which we are considering here. Let's assume that the image size is 250 by 250 by 3. Here 3 means uh, channels. 3 channels are uh, the red, green and blue. That is what channels means. Uh. So 250 by 250 means height and width. Uh, height of the image and width of the image. Uh. So this input is taken, is it is given as input to the first convolution layer. In the first convolution layer, we are using a filter of size 3 by 3. So 3 by 3 by 3 means number of channels. Uh, 3 by 3 is the height and width. Uh, like that we are using how many filters 10 filters are used here the output which we got from this convolution layer is this is the output we are having 10 channels and the output image size is 248 into 248 into 10 so why we got this 10 channels because we are having 10 filters here so these these are the basics which we discussed previously this output each channel each channel which we got from this f1 f2 and f10 is given as input to the max pool layer here here we are using a stride is equal to 1. Why we got the image size in the convolution layer? The image size is 248 into 248 into 10. Why the image size is 248 into 248 into 10? So this is the equation n plus 2p means padding value here padding is equal to 0 minus f means 3 value divided by s stride is equal to 1 plus 1. This is the equation to calculate the image size. So here what we are doing here is we are using the the output which we got from the convolution layer, we are having 248 into 248 into 10 channels. This is taken as input to the max pool layer and each channel is uh, taken into the max pool layer. It is given 2 by 2 matrix. So stride is equal to 2. What it is doing, max pool layer is doing, it is again reducing the size of image. So to what extent it will reduce, it will make it as half. So the image which we got after, uh, after passing through the max pool layer is, uh, this is the image, 124 into 124 into 10 size this image 10 means here channels 10 channels this image is taken as input to the next convolution layer in our next convolution layer we are taking a 5 by 5 filter like that we are taking 20 filters so the output which we got here the stride is equal to 2 so passing this into the equation we will get the output image size 59 into 59 into 20 here 20 means 20 channels 1 f1 this is the f1 next one is f2 so on f20 like that we are having a we got an output of 20 channels okay next we are taking a this each input is taken as an input to the max each output which we got from this convolution layer is taken as input to the max pool layer here we are applying max pool of 2 by 2 stride is equal to 2 it is again reducing the image size to half the output which we got after applying the max pool layer is 29 by 29 by 20 so each each channel is having 29 by 29 like that we are having 20 channels so the total number of pixels that are present in this entire image is 29 by 29 by 20 is 16820 pixels each pixel is taken as an input to the next layer this is how we are taking first pixel second pixel third pixel so on 16820 pixels this is what flattening means why we are using this flattening from here we are applying our standard neural network artificial neural network which we discussed previously in our first session we discussed about this from here we are taking the flattening layer flattening layer is taking each pixel as input to the next layer see from here we are applying the standard neural network this is how we are applying neurons and the next layer this is first hidden layer second hidden layer this is the output layer at the output layer if it is binary class classification we will apply the cross entropy equation loss function if it is multi-class classification we will apply softmax uh, softmax loss function that is how we will apply our convolution neural network this is the structure of convolution neural network 
Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.